Hey everyone, how is it going today? So, in this video, we are going to talk about how to properly set the sensitivity on your amplifier. The sensitivity, it's usually a knob, maybe a dog. <laughs> the sensitivity knob on the input to your amplifier. So what do I mean by the sensitivity knob? Everyone kind of sees this, uh, a lot of people see this and they say, hey, it's a volume knob on the front of my amplifier. If I want more volume out of my amplifier, I kick this knob up and I get more volume. That's actually not really what it's for. That knob is to adjust the sensitivity on the input and it's usually in dBs. So you can see here, we have an amplifier and the front of it here has a little watt knob on it and you see the dBs around the watt knob and what those really are. Okay, so in a situation I come up on, I need 80 watts of amplification. Say I have eight 10 watt loudspeakers, eight 10 watt loudspeakers, and I need 80 watts of amplification RMS, right? So you think, huh, 80 watts, I need an 80 watt amplifier. So I can't find an 80 watt amplifier, so I find a 100 watt amplifier. Well, I actually need more than 100 watts. If I have a 80 watts of needed power, I need to upsize that by 1.5 times my needed amplification for safety, if it spikes, for headroom, all kinds of different reasons. So I take 80, multiply that by 1.5, I actually need a 120 watt amplifier. <gasps> 120 watts. So now that 100 watt amplifier won't do. So now I'm doing my calculations doing my thing, I'm designing, I find out I need a 120 watt amplifier for that 80 watts. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, buy a 120 watt amplifier, but I can't find a 120 watt amplifier in the product line that we sell. I could do a 100 watt, I could do a 160 watt, I could do a 200 watt. Okay, so I need 120, let's do the 160. So I get a 160 watt amplifier. And I turn that knob all the way to zero dB, zero dB. That means that amplifier is gonna give me 160 watts. Well, I have only a need for 80 watts, but I'm telling the amplifier to give me 160 watts. So if I put zero dBU into the input of this amplifier, it's gonna give me 160 watts. I don't need that, I don't need that. So. What I need to do is figure out through some math equations, <clears throat> how do I get 80 watts? When I put zero dBU into this, I need 80 watts. How do I get 80 watts? So I do a little bit of logarithmic calculation. I do a power calculation. Now, as we know from our other videos on logarithms, if I'm using power, that is a 10 log equation, 10 log. So let me do my 10 log. Let me show it to you here. 10 log, 10 log. Now I have 80 watts, oh, excuse me. I have a 160 watt amplifier and I need to figure out what I need for 80 watts. Well, that's a three dB difference, three dB difference. So if I put zero dBU into the back of this input, I would normally get 180 watts if it's juiced all the way to zero. But since I have that input sensitivity, I can dial it back. I can dial it back to negative 3 dB. There's a 3 dB difference between 80 watts and 160 watts. Every time I double the power, that's 3 dB. Anytime I half the power, that's negative 3 dB. So I go to that knob. Now I know when I put 80 or I put 0 dBU into this input I, and I dial it back 3 dB, I'm going to get 80 watts RMS, root mean squared, average. Uh, that still leaves me room for headroom if I have some dynamic spikes. If I go above 0 dBU, 0 dBU is my average, remember. And since I don't talk like a robot, it's not always going to be 0 dBU. I have e emphasis on my speech, or I'm a soft talker. It's going to move around. So when I have that emphasis, it's going to go above 0 dBU. That's why I need that headroom in there. So I need 80 watts. I have 8 10 watt loudspeakers. My average, uh, I upscale that or upsize that uh, times 1.5, I get 120, I can buy 160 watt, that's the closest to it. So I get 160 watts, compare it to my 80 watts, I dial that back 3 dB, boom, now I'm set. Now, a lot of people have seen this many, many times before where you buy the biggest amplifier you could afford 
and you put it in there and you turn it on, they turn it all the way up and you hear that shh coming out of the loudspeakers, that's bad, that's bad. We want to adjust our amplifier for the needed wattage that we have. So uh, we do the estimated power required for our loudspeakers to get to our listening level. Again, another video, you can find that in our video section, uh, estimating power required a loudspeaker. Figure out the power required. I figure out for these loudspeakers that's in this situation, I'm going to need 10 watts, 8 loudspeakers, 80 watts total. Get my 80 watts, Look uh, upsize it, 1.5, 120, 120 watts. I need 120 watts for safety, headroom, etc. And then I uh, find that I can get 160 watt amp to fit that bill. I get that 160 watt amp before I even turn it on. Before I put power into it, before I put signal into it, I know 80 watts, 160, quick 10 log calculation, I'm going to have to dial that back 3 dB. So before the on switch goes on, I turn that down to about the 3 dB line. I insert my 0 dBU signal into the amplifier, and then I should, should have pretty close to what I am requiring for that listening level, 25 to 30 dB above ambient at listening level. So... That's part of our whole balancing our audio system, making sure our audio system is functioning as it's supposed to be, using math to get our audio system to where it should be, uh, and making sure that we can do that, again, sustainably, uh, repeatably, quantifiably, through the maths, through calculations, using my calculator. So, this is not a volume knob. This is not a watt knob. This is not the knob that you turn up all the way to 11 and you get all the sounds. No. This is the knob that makes sure that we can adjust this last piece of equipment for the exact need we need for our content, for our client, for our space and environment. And for any reason, if our listening level goes up, we can do some math. Figure it out, dial it up there, or make a microphone adjustment. Again, another video. Uh, make that microphone adjustment, but we want to make sure our audio system is balanced, we want to use math to get there, and we want to make sure we do it the exact same way every single time so we can get the same great results. Uh, that's about it for amplifier sensitivity, amplifier, amplifier sensitivity on your input. Uh, look for this video, more videos on our site, uh, avixa.org forward slash tripping over dog avixa.org forward slash training certification and you will be able to balance your audio system from soup to nuts from microphones to loudspeakers with math with the same results every single time thanks for watching